What's going on YouTube? Today we'll be showing you how to update the nav data with the latest AIRAC cycle for X-Plane 11 and any add-ons you might have. A new AIRAC cycle is released every month and a good indication that you are not using the latest cycle is when you see a message on your plane's FMC nav data out of date. If you already have a subscription to Navigraph's FMS data, use the time jump in the description to skip this next part. To stay up to date on this, you will need to purchase a subscription from Navigraph. If you have X-Plane open, now is a good time to close it. Head over to Navigraph's site, the link will be in the description. In the header, click Products. Then in the sidebar, you should see Purchase Subscription. Click on that. Now Navigraph offers three different subscriptions, but for this to work, you will need to purchase either the Ultimate subscription or the FMS data. The Ultimate subscription includes not only the FMS data needed, but also Navigraph charts, which I personally use every flight. This is the only subscription that offers a monthly payment option as well. It will cost you eight euro and 30 cents, or for people like myself in the US, nine dollars and five cents per month. Alternatively, you can just purchase a one year subscription for either of those and save around 25 to 30 bucks in the long run. If you're not looking to have the charts, at least buy the FMS data for uh, 25 euro or roughly 30 bucks. Once you've purchased your subscription and gotten logged into Navigraph, on the sidebar click Data Manager. If you don't see the sidebar in Data Manager, just click Products in the header and it will be right below where you clicked Purchase Subscription. On this page, download the FMS Data Manager for your operating system. They support both Windows and Mac. All right, so this is a 2021 updated version of the previous video that was posted. The first half and the ending of this video is going to be pretty much a copy of that exact video, but I'm going to add in uh, one of the most requested things um, from that that video that I previously did, and also just to do an updated for 2021. Uh, that video was done in 2019. It's actually the most popular video on the channel. So the most common thing that everybody asked was how do you add the universal FMC, the UFMC, as well as the GNS430 uh, custom data. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Now, um, these two things will not be automatically added if you're doing a uh, auto mapping. So you will need to manually add these. And there's a pretty simple way to do that. Uh, so let me just go ahead and show you how to do that. So in our X-Plane 11 folder, we're going to go to the custom data folder. And we're going to create a new folder and name it GNS430 and UFMC. And once you've done that, we'll go back into the add-on mappings section of Navigraph and hit add. And these we'll have to do manually. Like I said, scroll pretty much all the way down to the bottom. It's in alphabetical order. And we're looking for universal FMC and GNS430. So just click one of them. Um, the process is exactly the same for both of them. You'll hit, uh, you'll hit that, you'll hit install into user designated folder, and then you'll select uh, the appropriate one for each of those. And once that's done, you hit save, and then come out to the main screen here on the add-on list, and just hit update. So we'll go ahead and do that now. All right, and as you can see, once that has completed, it now says that we are on 1908 revision one, which is the latest version of the Navigraph data. And as you can see, the current cycle up here is also 1908. So now we're done with Navigraph. So we're gonna go ahead and open up X-Plane. We'll just load into a flight just so you guys can see. All right, now we're loaded up in the Zebo 737. And if you take a look at the FMC, you no longer see nav data out of date. And this will work with um, just about any of the planes, any of the default planes or add-ons you have. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I also try to do some live streams every once in a while. Until next time, this is Josh, the Limitless Pilot.